Welcome to Williamson County Schools 2020 Shining Apple Volunteer Awards. Hello, and welcome to our virtual Shining Apple Awards for 2020. You know, every year as we finish the school year, one of my favorite events is our Shining Apple Awards. There's just something special about that crystal apple that, uh, that we've awarded to our volunteers for each school over the years. You know, last year I was able to speak to folks and we were able to interact. Obviously this year, it's a different story, but we felt like it was extremely important for us to thank you, all of, all of you, all our volunteers, who's put so much effort into supporting our teachers and supporting our students over the course of this year. You know, with the social distancing restrictions, with the state closing schools these past couple of months, things look very different. And one of the things that was emphasized uh, to me through this process is how much we miss you, our volunteers. Teacher appreciation was just a few days ago. And, and our teachers missed you. I had a conversation with many of our teacher leaders and that was one of the items that they particularly mentioned that they were missing out on. And we know that this situation that we're working through is going to change. It's going to get better. Uh, but what's more important through that is the support that we've had from our families throughout this process is just so encouraging and you, as our volunteer leaders, those of you who've led by example, make that so much more important. So typically when we have these award ceremonies, I speak for five or 10 minutes. Uh, and I know in a video setting, that's not the best thing for me to do. But what I do want you to know is that you have my heartfelt thanks for the work that you've done for our teachers, the work that you've done for our students in supporting that work. We couldn't do this without you. We couldn't do it without the families who support our who support our work. We couldn't do it without the volunteer work that you have given. We're going to spend some time celebrating you. And again, my heartfelt thanks for all that you've done for us this year. Mary Owen Allendale. As the PTO volunteer coordinator, Miss Owen, organized the state's time to create parent volunteer badges. Ms. Owen is the library and PTO board person. She supports the library during book fairs, coordinating parent volunteers, and raising food donations. Mary Owens works hard for Allendale. She is so cheerful and supportive. She is always ready to help out when needed. Bethesda PTO, Bethesda. Thank you, Bethesda PTO, for all the fun events you organized for me and my family. For doing the backyard barbecue to help our school earn money. For organizing all the spirit night stuff where I can go enjoy it with my family. I just want to thank the Bethesda PTO for making us feel special and celebrating our birthdays every month. We love our Bethesda PTO! Tina Martini, Chapman's Retreat. There are not enough words for me to express my gratitude for everything Tina has done for our students, staff, and administrators at Chapman's Retreat. During the two years she has served as PTO president, her mission has remained the same, to provide what you need to support our students. Tina has been a dream parent to work with. She greets you with a smile, is eager to help with any project, supported our school and administrators 100%. We love you, Tina, and we will miss you every day at Chapman's Retreat. Jennifer Conroy, Clovercroft. Hello, Williamson County. This is Elizabeth Best. I'm the principal at Clovercroft, and I'm excited to announce our Shining Apple winner for this school year. Jennifer Conroy has been a fantastic volunteer for our school community for the past four years. Um, she's been particularly involved in the last three years on our PTO board. Uh, she's coordinated all the volunteers that come to our school each week that run copies in the copy room. She trains everybody. Um, she supports the volunteers in our library and in our art classroom and anything and everything we need related to volunteers. She's the coordinator. Um, she's also been a substitute for us. Um, she is just a fantastic servant um, who loves our school community, supports our community, 
and we just can't imagine life at Clovercroft without her. So we're super proud about Jennifer Conroy and so glad she's a Clovercroft volunteer. Thank you. Rachel Schoenborn, College Grove. We are excited to announce that our 1920 Shining Apple for College Grove Elementary School is Rachel Schoenborn. Mrs. Schoenborn helps us out in countless ways. She volunteers in our cafeteria, helping our boys and girls and our staff. She volunteers in our workroom, helping make copies and helping teachers. She volunteers in our classrooms, helping our boys and girls and our teachers. Mrs. Schoenborn, thank you so much for all of the time that you give College Grove. We appreciate you and congratulations for being College Grove's Shining Apple for the 1920 school year. Don Stein, Creekside Elementary. Creekside's first ever Shining Apple Award goes to Don Stein. Don Stein is a grandfather volunteer for our school. He also helped us establish routines and procedures this year when we transferred over to the new building. He's consistent and reliable and always has great recommendations to help our processes be efficient. A big thank you goes to Don Stein. Stacy Bokey, Crockett Elementary. Crockett Elementary Shining Apple Award winner is Stacy Bokey. Miss Stacy is the president of the Crockett PTO, where she has led fundraising efforts to replace and update classroom technology and learning comments. Miss Stacy frequently volunteers at school to provide faculty luncheons, host family events, and support school initiatives. We are so grateful for the generosity and support of our Shining Apple Award winner, Stacey Murphy. Thank you for making Crockett a great place to be. Julie Dreyfus, Edmondson Elementary. I am so excited to announce Julie Dreyfus as Edmondson's Shining Apple winner. Julie has taken on the role of PTO president this year at Edmondson after previously serving as the VP of fundraising. Under Julie's leadership, the PTO has continued to support the school through fundraising and family events. Julie's positive leadership style encourages parental involvement and supports our entire school community. Her countless hours as a volunteer have been a true asset. Thank you, Julie, for all you do for us. Michelle Wanniger, Fairview Elementary. Hi, this is Tracy Bullard. I am honored to have the opportunity to announce Fairview Elementary School's Shining Apple Award nominee, Mrs. Michelle Wanniger. Mrs. Wanniger, a mom of FEF students, has worked for several years assisting with our fuel bag program. She has worked tirelessly to ensure that these fuel bags are filled and ready to go home with our students. Michelle, we can't thank you enough, and I want you to know your dedication and service has not gone unnoticed. This year, she went above and beyond to make sure the fuel bags would get to students. She would drive to Franklin to get the supplies needed. She also helps in the classrooms around the school. Mrs. Wanninger works hard to help make FES a better place. Tracy McKinley, Grassland Elementary. Grasson Elementary School celebrates Tracy McKinley as our Shining Apple 2020. Tracy shares her talent and expertise as a web designer for Grasson School Community Association's webpage, along with amazing graphic design in our school t-shirts, our spirit wear, as well as handcrafting invitations for Grasson Elementary School events. Tracy is always here to volunteer whatever we need to get done. Thanks, Tracy, for making GES the best. Renee Intermont, Heritage Elementary. Hi, this is Mrs. Robertson from Heritage Elementary School. I have the privilege to announce that our Shining Apple Award winner is Renee Entremont. Renee came to us a couple of years ago with an idea to create a positive affirmation board for students when they arrive to school. Students come in and cannot wait to see the sayings that Renee has put on our board each and every week. She faithfully comes on Friday and fills the board with new sayings like we're proud of you, 
you. We love you. You can do this. And our eagles love to share that throughout the day. Um, you will see our students with these sayings um, taped onto their clothes, taped onto their backpacks. It has just become a part of our regular morning routine. Renee, thank you for coming to us with this idea. Thank you for all that you do. And thank you for being here each and every Friday, ready for our students. We cannot do this without you. Thank you. Congratulations. Samantha Ozan, Hunter's Bend. This year, our Shining Apple Award goes to Samantha Ozan. Samantha spends many, many hours in our building working. When our doors are open, she is here. There's never a test too small or too large for Samantha. This is evident by the way she loves our Hunter's Bend Hound Dogs. Samantha, thank you for being our Shining Apple. I smile for you. I am always happy to see her. She makes the day bright. Next, she is very willing to help the teachers and staff. She is here to help and jump in when she is needed, finally. She has great ideas. She does a great job for the PTO with the many events like the Jet Jam and our other family events. Congratulations, Ms. Brova. Thank you for all your hard work here at Jordan Elementary. Ken Rose PTO, Ken Rose Elementary. Well, she works very late hours. Like when I we go to bed, she works on PTO stuff like the neon night and like a lot of other stuff. And she always is very serious about work and family. I think my mom works so hard for the school because she really cares and she wants to make a good environment for kids. Because she cares about people a lot and she loves school growing up. She works very hard. She always makes sure we are fed and she loves helping others like the Glenview Clothing Drive. She helps set up and along, along with Neil at night, she is very hardworking. Thank you, Mother. Ashley Smith, Lipscomb Elementary. Hello, this is Lipscomb. My name is Kingston. And my name is Aubrey. We're here to announce the Shining Apple Volunteer Award to Miss Ashley Schmidt. She decorates the bulletin boards and practically makes them come to life. She decorated for the superhero mother-son dance. She, you just wouldn't believe what she does for the book fairs. Crazy. Uh, she shelves library books. She decorated the lobby. She even decorated for the fifth grade sock hop. She power she power washed the front school entrance this summer. She also cleaned out the PTO shed. It, it was, was nasty. She designed our LES schoolwear. She also is so famous for her balloon arches. They show up at STEM night, winter program. Winter P Winter Wonderland and the variety show. Miss Schmidt, we couldn't make it through the year without you. Thanks so much for all you do. Goodbye. See ya. Christina Trahan, Longview Elementary. Longview would like to present this year's Shining Apple Award to a very special parent who serves our teachers and staff in so many ways. Christina Trahan is our PTO board member and she is very active in serving the school for different PTO organized events and also makes sure that our staff has a special luncheon once a month. Thank you, Christina, for all of your time and efforts to build community and shower love on the students and staff at Longview. KDS Doc, Mill Creek Elementary. Mill Creek Elementary chose Miss Katie Astock to receive the Shining Apple Award this year. She does a lot to help our school. She's the MCES PTO president this school year. She was in our school almost daily to help out for whatever is needed. If she hears that a teacher needs something, she likes to gift it to them as a surprise. Thank you, Miss Katie. Joni Tilton, Nolensville Elementary. I am so excited that Joni Tilton is Nolensville Elementary School's Shining Apple. She has done an incredible job as one of our events coordinators for our PTO and has really made our events 
um, special and memorable for all of our families and just goes above and beyond to make things look amazing and to plan fabulous events like our Boohoo Yahoo breakfast, um, was a huge part of our NES homecoming parade and our NES tailgating. Um, she helped coordinate and decorate and set up our pumpkins and poems and facilitated our grand breakfast, um, did an amazing winter fest. Uh, we had an NES boys night and a sweetheart dance that was amazing and made very special memories for our kiddos. And then she's also done an incredible job of decorating the boulders out front for all of our different events and making it really fun and lively and inviting for our families and um, also coordinated our donuts with grown-ups. And everything she does, she just gives it 100%. Um, and we are so lucky to have Joni Tilton on our PTO and all that she does for our school and our families. And Joni, we love you and we're thankful for you and could not imagine having a better representative for Nolensville Elementary as our shining apple. Thank you, Joni. Hello, my name is Brenda McCain and I'm gonna tell you about Oakview's shining apple. Our shining apple was PTA president when our school split with Creekside. The only remaining board member who had to start all over and work for Oakview and Creekside for Hoops Scoot and Boogie. Organized Booster Fawn, and I loved it, who was in charge of school supply packet, kindergarten night, and Hoops Scoot and Boogie. She was also part of the decorate, redecorating team for the workroom and the teacher lounge. A true partner to our school. I could go on and on. She is so incredible. Drum roll, please. The 2019-2020 Shining Apple for Oakview is Miss Michelle Harless. Thank you for supporting our school. Jen Hody's Pear Creek Elementary. Perry Creek would like to congratulate our Shining Apple Award winner, Mrs. Jen Hodes. Mrs. Hodes can be found all over Perry Creek. Sometimes she's welcoming guests as they come to eat lunch with their children. Sometimes she can be found sorting and collecting returned books for the library. And other days she can be found helping with math fact fluency and sight words. Thank you, Mrs. Hodes, for all of your help. Linda Lou and Johnny Lovier, Scales Elementary. I'd like to congratulate Johnny and Linda Lou Louvier as Scales Shining Apple recipients for 2020. Johnny and Linda Lou can be counted on to be in attendance at everything we have at Scales. They are helpers with Run Club. Linda Lou has been in our library, I think it, once a week ever since she's been involved with Scales. We are so appreciative of their encouragement, their support of our students, and we love them. Thank you so much for your hard work, and we're gonna miss you next year. Jessica McLeod, Sunset Elementary. Hi there, I'm Karen Caldwell, principal of Sunset Elementary School. I am thrilled to announce this year's Shining Apple Award goes to Jessica McLeod. Jess is an amazing parent and supporter of Sunset Elementary School. She is here every day helping out in some capacity. I can find her in the library, I can find her in the workroom, I can find her in a classroom, and I even see her after school helping out with our green team. I'm thrilled that she's a part of our community and so honored and happy to recognize her in this way. Thanks Jess for all that you do for Sunset. Rebecca Gilly, Thompson Station Elementary. Hi, my name is Robert Moore. I'm the principal at Thompson Station Elementary School. So many times we talk about the wonderful teachers and students we have in our schools, but one of the most important aspects of, of why Thompson Station Elementary School is great is because we have amazing parents. And we, we are, uh, we, we, we can't do some of the things we do if we didn't have them. And so we are so grateful for the many parents that we have that are fabulous volunteers. And this year, I would like to congratulate Rebecca Gilley for being our shining apple. Thank you, Rebecca, for everything that you do, especially your time. You're the best. 
Holly Bailey, Trinity Elementary. Our Shining Apple winner from Trinity Elementary is Holly Bailey, our PTO president. You can always find Holly around the building willing to help with whatever we may ask her to do. Congratulations, Holly. Golf House, Tennessee, Walnut Grove Elementary. My name is Kate Donnelly, and I'm from Walnut Grove Elementary. It's my pleasure to announce the Golf House of Franklin as our Shining Apple Award nominees for this school year. Valerie and Galen and all the Golf House employees come every year to Walnut Grove and spend days in our gym with our students, teaching them the fundamentals of golf. We really appreciate all their time and energy and devotion to the students of Walnut Grove. Thank you, the Golf House of Tennessee, our Walnut Grove Shining Apple Award winners this year. Susan Coleman, Westwood Elementary. We are so excited to recognize our shining apple at Westwood this year. Our mom! Miss <laughs> Susan Coleman. She is amazing. She's been a part of our Westwood PTO for the last four years, and she has just worked so hard, tirelessly, days on end, every weekend, every day, whether it be with our PTO. Santa Breakfast. Invest in Westwood. Ice cream social. The basketball and baseball that runs the Fairview. She's amazing. She works like every day. She's just awesome. Yeah. And we just want to say thank you, Miss Susan Coleman. Thank you. Thank you. Molly Clark, Winstead Elementary. Hi, I'm Carter. Hi, I'm Colby. Hi, I'm Morgan. Our mom, Molly Clark, has planned so many events at Winstead. And the Palooza. And the dodgeball tournament. And the Girls with Girls dance. And so many more. Congratulations on winning the Shining Apple Award. We love you, Mom. Tyler Farah, Hillsboro School. Hillsboro School is proud to recognize Tyler Farah as our 2019-20 Shining Apple Award winner. Tyler currently serves as the athletic committee chair for our PTO and is heavily involved with athletic fundraising, concession sales, spirit wear, and other events. Most recently, Tyler spearheaded a fundraiser at Hillsborough School that earned $55,000. Tyler, we are so appreciative of your work over the last three years. Congratulations. Diana Landa, Brentwood Middle. My name is Brandon Barkley, and I'm the proud principal of Brentwood Middle School. It's my honor and privilege to recognize Diana Landa as our Shining Apple volunteer. Over the past several years, Diana has served as the treasurer of our Viking Athletic Club and PTO. Diana always produces the highest quality of work, and we could not be more grateful for her service to Brentwood Middle School. She's such a joy to work with. She always has a smile on her face and a positive attitude. So Diana, thank you for your service to BMS, and I'm so glad that you have more kids coming through BMS. Kim Smith, Fairview Middle. I am so proud to announce that Fairview Middle School's Shining Apple recipient this year is Mrs. Kim Smith. Not only is Kim a tremendous volunteer and asset to our school community, but also to the Fairview community at large. She's an ambassador, she welcomes new families to the area, and I cannot say enough good things about her. So thank you for all you do, Kim Smith. Samantha Ozan. Wrestling middle. Say the most valuable asset we have is our time. And it takes a special individual to give up that most valuable asset. Our Shining Apple not only gives her time to our faculty and our staff and our students and our community, but she shares the same distinction at Hunter's Bend Elementary School. Our Shining Apple, who we're very grateful to have, is Samantha Ozan. We thank you, we appreciate you, and you well deserve this reward. Susan Perry, Heritage Middle. Susan Perry is the Heritage Middle School Shining Apple this school year. Susan Perry is a very active member of the HMS PTO. She's the leader of the Beautification Committee. She volunteers in the office each week and she has done many things inside and outside to make the HMS campus beautiful. She's incredibly gifted in bringing others together to benefit the school. She always wears a beautiful smile and helps everyone feel welcome and comfortable in the school building. As the leader of the Beautification Committee, she strives to always accommodate everyone's personal preferences. Thank, Thank you, Miss Perry. Perry. We love you. Outlander Southern Chicken, Mill Creek Middle. 
Our shining Alpha recipient from Mill Creek Middle is Outlander Southern Chicken owner, Brian Summers. Mr. Brian loves the Nolensville community and goes above and beyond to support all the schools, sports, fine arts, and charities that he can. He is a hard worker and he has hired a staff that is just as hardworking and professional as he is. Whether he is donating food, his time, hosting fundraisers, or just providing his normal services, Mr. Brian and his staff do everything on time and with a smile. They make you feel like you are the one doing something instead of them. With Outlanders, you never have to worry about anything because they are always on top of it all and willing to make everything a success. Thank you so much, Brian Summers and Outlanders. Mill Creek Middle appreciates you. Amanda Walker, Page Middle. Hello, this is Dr. Eric Lipsy from Page Middle School here to proudly announce our Shining Apple Award winner, Amanda Walker. Ms. Walker has served as our Panther Athletic Club president for the past two years and has led two of the biggest, most successful tailgate parties that we have had at our school. It's a big community event at the beginning of the year where everybody comes out uh, and enjoys gathering in a football game with prizes and a carnival-like atmosphere. So it's just a super time. She's been amazing and all this time, she's also been working as a teacher in the district. Ms. Walker, we certainly appreciate you and we wish you the best and congratulations on your Shining Apple Award. Aaron Gribbon, Spring Station. With an infectious laugh and boundless energies, it is easy to see why Aaron Gribbon was selected as our Shining Apple Award winner. Aaron has supported Spring Station over the last three years. She's given unselflessly of her time with sparkling great humor. Aaron is student-centered and spent countless hours organizing, stocking, creating, brainstorming ideas to help raise funds for our band program here. Even on a rainy, cold day, putting banners out around town to help promote our fundraisers with never a complaint, only humor and admiration. We know our school could not function without the support and time Erin has so graciously given. She is a true gem. We are forever thankful for you, Erin. Erin Gribben, we cannot thank you enough here at Spring Station for all that you've done over the years for our students and staff and PTO and all the or other organizations you've been involved with. You are a very special person and we are so glad that you're getting the shiny apple here at Spring Station. Terry Bozen, Sunset Middle. The Shining Apple Award winner for Sunset Middle School for this year is Mrs. Terry Bozen. She volunteers countless hours to our school. She's our athletics fundraising chair for PTO, and she comes up with great creative ideas to help our PTO raise money for the school. She also works very hard running our concessions, making it a very smooth process for everyone. Erica Russell, Thompson Station Middle. Miss Russell, it's Thompson Station Middle School. Full steam up. Service. Miss <laughs> Russell is successful in our check writing campaign to raise additional funds to purchase more from. Teamwork. She stepped in to be our PTO president last minute, even though she had never done anything like that before. Excellent. Excellent relationship with all staff. Accountability. Personally made sure every student received exactly what they needed for our supply kits. Mindset. Miss Russell has put her very own touch on everything around the school. She made sure that Thompson Station was our home way. Thank you, Jill McIntyre, Woodland Middle School. Hello, I'm Patrick Boyd, Principal of Woodland Middle School. Even though our school is closed, I wanted to take a moment to thank and to congratulate our shining apple, Miss Jill McIntyre. Jill has been part of the Woodland community for many years and volunteers in our front office as well as with our readers. She also makes a mean staff lunch and some wicked desserts. Jill helps to make Woodland a safe, supportive, positive, and encouraging place every week. Thanks, Jill. Bernadette Glasgow, Brentwood High. I'm Skylar Johnson, class officer for the Brentwood High class of 2020. I'm here in the kitchen where we will often find Shining Apple Award winner, Bernadette Glasgow. For the past four years, Ms. Glasgow has cooked and served all teacher appreciation lunches. She has also provided a variety of sweet treats for Halloween, Christmas, Valentine's Day, and more, and has always been there anytime we need a volunteer. BHS appreciates Bernadette Glasgow, our Shining Apple Award winner. Tammy Crown, Centennial High. 
Hey Tammy, I want to congratulate you on your recent award, uh, The Shining Apple. Uh, we appreciate all that you've done for Centennial in the past four years. You have been a true asset to the entire school. Uh, we're going to miss you. I uh, can't believe this, these four years have flown by as, as fast as they have. Um, again, we appreciate everything that you've done for not only the football team, the entire school. Um, sorry we're not able to do this in person, um, but we really appreciate everything. We hope you have a great day. See you, Tammy. Hey, Mom. Just want to thank you for everything you've done. Uh, my life wouldn't be the same without you, and I'm so thankful for you and everything you've done with me and everyone at school just to help out the football team. You're amazing and we all love you, thanks. Yeah, Miss Tammy, she's the best, man. She, she does so much for the football team. She's always making sure we, we're taken care of, always making sure that we have what we need, you know, like the, the food, always coordinating everything. Without her, you know, a lot of that, a lot of things wouldn't be possible. So, um, man, she's the best. State Representative Sam Whitson, Fairview High School. Representative Whitson has really helped our mechatronics program here at Fairview High School. He's been one of the leading forces behind it, um, particularly getting us the money for the program, um, helping us get grants to help pay for the tuition for the kids so that they can get their two-year degree from Columbia State uh, for free without having to pay out of pocket for it. Um, so our, some of our equipment, the grants we've got, the, the, the way he's working at the state for our program here at Fairview has just been tremendous for our kids here at the school. Sam has been a champion for our mechatronics program. Two years ago, he went to Governor Haslam and he asked Governor Haslam to put $286,000 in his budget so that we could run a pilot program for our mechatronics here at Fairview High School. We are super proud to have an ally and a representative that understands CTE, understands Fairview High School's need and is a champion for us. Terry Anderson, Franklin High. She is just such a sweet and special lady um, that is such a blessing to all of us. Uh, she loves our students, she loves our school, she loves our teachers. Um, she is just uh, such a faithful presence at school that is always kind and encouraging and uplifting. I would like to thank my mom, Terry Anderson, for having a servant's heart and trying her best to exemplify Jesus in all the work that she does at home and around the house and at school. I think the best thing about her is that she's so welcoming and kind. Uh, she loves on all the students as if they were on her own kids. Um, so I definitely think that Terry Anderson deserves the Shining Apple Award. Michelle and David St. Charles end up in the tie. Hey mom, hey dad. Congratulations on winning the Shining Apple Award. Thank you for volunteering your time and helping Independence so much. Thanks, Dad, for always holding positions on the IAC and helping out with the basketball program. Mom, thank you for running pods, helping out with the PTSO, and also being the team mom for the basketball team. Thank you guys so much for all that you guys have done in our time in India and always helping out. We love you. Congratulations. Heather Parks, Nolensville High. We want to congratulate our 2020 Shining Apple Award winner for Nolensville High School, Heather Parks. Heather Parks leads a group of amazing women who help spearhead the Kendall's K as well as the Nolensville 5K at 5. The Kendall's K is an incredible fun run which helps support our special needs services in our school and is in memory of our beloved Kendall Riker. This event has helped establish Kendall's Cookies, a school-based enterprise which empowers our transition students with invaluable life and job skills. The 5K at 5 is now in its second year and helps support all of our Nolensville athletics. Thank you to Heather Parks and her team of volunteers for the Kendall's K and Nolensville 5K at 5 for their tireless efforts that help make Nolensville a better place. Ralph Reedsap, Beach High. The Page High School Shining Apple Award winner for 2020 is Ralph Ringstaff. Mr. Ringstaff over the last 40 years has been a part of the Page High community. And to celebrate the Page High community and Mr. Ringstaff's service, we would like to share with you his senior picture from Page High School. Thank you, Mr. Ringstaff. Thanks, Ralph. <laughs> Debbie Rob. Ravenwood High! 
Ms. Roth has always dedicated her extra time to helping the cheer team and making sure everything is successful and runs smoothly, and she's always been there for me. I always remember since elementary school, through middle school, and now high school, uh, Ms. Roth has always devoted so much time uh, towards trying to make sure that we've had such an enjoyable and fun and memorable high, uh, schooling experience. At Woodland and Ravenwood, I always saw Ms. Roth helping teachers and students in every way that she can to help make our school a better place. Thank you, Mom, so much for making my life at Ravenwood, Woodland, and Crockett Elementary School a blast. And thank you so much for all the time you've put in. Thank, thank you, you Mom. <laughs> Love you so much. Karina Sprinkle, Renaissance High. Martin Luther King did Life's most persistent and urgent question. What are you doing for others? Karina Sprinkle answered that question by volunteering countless hours sitting side by side with the Renaissance student to help with assignments throughout the year to ensure the student remains on track to graduate this spring. As a former Renaissance employee three years ago, Karina built a trusting relationship with the student and then came back into the student's life when she was needed the most with whatever it takes attitude to help cross the finish line. Thank you for reminding us, Karina, of the impact that you truly have on another when you show we truly care. Eric Hill, Summit High! Uh, Mr. Hill has been a uh, huge uh, impact uh, for our community. There's a lot that I can say about Mr. Hill. Mr. Hill has been very, very father-like to me. Thank you, Mr. Hill, for uh, supporting us in football and going an extra mile and making sure we're okay. He's always checking on me and always making sure my grades are right. You're a great person overall, and uh, I'm glad I met you. Really appreciate everything you've done. Uh, like I said, very deserving of this award, and thank you so much. Congratulations to all of the 2020 Shining Apple Volunteer Award winners.